Hi, this is Corwin Ackerman with AK Studios Design and today I'm going to show you how to make Hooked. Hooked is a simple antimicrobial tool that allows you to navigate public spaces while lessening your contact with contaminated surfaces. Hooked is funding right now on Kickstarter, but if you're unable to back this campaign, we've offered the drawings and files to make this part for free, including this video to show you how to do it. Now there's a bunch of different ways to approach making Hooked. But if you follow these simple steps outlined in this video, you're going to end up with a great end product, no matter what kind of tools or equipment you have. All you have to do is take the drawings provided and scribe them onto your stock. Then you're going to cut as close to those scribe marks as you can, file to those scribe marks, and then all you have left to do is clean up your part and finish it. Now let's show you how to do it. So we're just starting off here by cleaning our copper stock, making sure it's free of dirt and oil, which will help our layout fluid adhere well. And this layout fluid is going to allow our scribe marks to stand out. Next we're going to print out our drawings, provided to you for free at full scale, and simply scribe them into the copper. Now before we dive in, one thing to note about copper is that it can be a pain to work with. It's really ductile which means it leads to a lot of tool wear and poor chip formation and evacuation. Just something to keep in mind throughout this process. To start out, I'm cutting Hook's outer perimeter with a bandsaw. You can use whatever tool you have on hand. This is just what we have in the studio that worked really well for this. Now that we have the outer perimeter, we have to get the hand grip cut out. And in order to do that, we need to mark for a few holes. These dimples will give our drill a good place to start. Now I'm using a Dremel to cut out this inner grip, but again, use what tools you have. This is where we are before we start filing down to the outline. Uh, you can see some places we have more material to remove than others. Now I'm just using a file uh, and filing down to the lines that I scribed earlier. Now this is certainly going to be the most time consuming portion of making hook by hand. The closer you cut to your lines that you've scribed earlier, the less work you're going to have here. Use a Dremel, files, whatever works best for you. Here's the last step. We're just cleaning up, sanding down to our marks, and finishing the surfaces on the combination sander. Here you can see the hook that we just finished on the right and one of our production samples on the left. Now it's not perfect. We did make this by hand and I finished it in under an hour, but this is a good example of what you can do with some simple tools in the shop. Now if you do have access to a CNC, we're going to walk through how you can make hooked with both brass and copper on one of those machines as well. We're using two different work holding methods. This is super glue with some masking tape to hold it down to a sheet of masonite. And for our copper, we're using double-sided tape. Just taking off some burrs on the copper. And because our copper stock is exactly two inches, we need to make sure it's square in our machine. Now we're all set and ready to drop it into the CNC. So, the cam files are really easy for this part. You just have one boring operation and a 2D contour. Depending on what machine you're using to run and cut this part, you're gonna have different feeds and speeds. But take note that when you start cutting your copper part, you're gonna have some difficulty with chip evacuation and you wanna be careful and make sure that your tool's not heating up. So try using some lubricant or some air to blast the chips out of the way of the cutter. That'll help you along. If you're machining this in brass, you should have no problem. Brass is a breeze to machine. So cutting the brass went very smoothly. These parts aren't very complex geometrically, which makes them easy to machine. And again, we had some small difficulties with the copper, but nothing a little lubricant can fix. And just like before, we're going to have to deburr all the edges, sand the surfaces, and make it nice and comfortable and smooth to hold. And to finish this part off, we're going to sand each side on the combination sander. 
If you'd like to purchase Hooked, you can find one at the link in the description below. I appreciate you watching and taking the time to follow along. And if you end up making Hooked, we would love to see it. So please tag us. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.